yes and welcome back to the channel guys it's been about a month since i was last out up on great gable in the lakes but work commitments the missus not been able to get out but here we are in the glorious location of glencoe As you can see, absolutely stunning. That is the famous three sisters behind me. And today's plan of attack is we're gonna go up into that valley there. I think it's called the uh, it's called the Lost Valley. So we're gonna go find the Lost Valley and we're gonna have a wild camp in there. It's minus six at midday on the way over as I got here, clouds came in. And it was white out, you literally couldn't see anything. So I've hung about for an hour. Weather's cleared, and that's it. So let's get up there and let's get pitched, eh? Yeah. This is what it's all about, innit? I mean, this will be a proper winter's camp. Proper, proper winter's camp, but you can see. So we're heading just up into that valley. I actually, um, I actually came here in summer, probably about six or seven months ago. I pulled up in the uh, car park, the Three Sisters viewing point, open the van and straight away inundated with midges i mean i've never really experienced the scottish midges because every time i've been up here it's been windy but that day put it this way i just shut me van door and i drove back to my hotel so won't have that problem today i am going to stop and uh, get my micro spikes on though because you can see the path it's becoming icier and the last thing I want to do is have a slip right now so right let's carry on up Lost Valley 
for Glen Cole. One last thing for it, we're going to get ourselves down there, we're going to find ourselves a pitch and we're going to get set up and get a run down us. Look at this. Pretty spectacular. Location. I mean, talk about feeling a little bit remote. <laughs> Just have a look at this. I mean, there's nothing anywhere. Just Alan in the wilderness. Just tried to send my drone up. Batteries are too cold, won't take off. GoPro batteries keep dying too cold. So, um, yeah, just. I've only got the shout up for now, I've not done all uh, mat and that. I have got me firmer rest, X firm mat, uh, the Rab Ascent 1100 bag. So I should be, I should be pretty toasty, I've got a load of down clothes and that as well. But a bit gutting, I can't send the drone up just yet. So I bet you any money, Clag will be in it morning. But for now, I'm just going to get the rest of the, uh, the inside of the tent set up. Um, I'll bring you back. I'm guessing daylight's going to be gone in the next half an hour. Um, so we might need to wait till morning for a proper little mooch about. But heavy snow is um, <laughs> is forecasted tonight. So I have doubled up, doubled up on my poles just in case because the wind was kicking about before as well. Right, um, we'll get in there, get set up, then we'll crack a room open. Eh? See you soon. Bitter. It's not even. It's not even super cold to be honest. It's just that wind. Wind's cold. So I've not recorded anything <laughs> since I've got here. Got set up. I've just been sat in my tent, having a couple of beers, chilling out. There's been nothing to show you, but I suppose that's the problem with winter camping. Um, long nights short days and especially when you're on your own there's nobody to talk to no banter no nothing so um it's just been me sat in my tent enjoying myself with views that i had um i wish i could show you you're not going to be able to see but it, it's a full well it's a half moon it's quite bright i can see Oak mountains and it's cracking but we've got some clouds coming over and it is meant to snow quite heavy so anyway um i'm going to finish my beers I'll get back in the tent and then we'll get some food on, eh? Tell you what, stood out here just having a beer because that's what you do when you're on your own in the mountains, stand out in the cold. Double pole in this tent, it's like a rock. I mean, even in wind, that is, that, it just, it just doesn't move. Absolute beast. Best buy ever. Now this could be the rum talking. You know when you just stood here and you're thinking, I am literally in the middle of nowhere in the Highlands of Scotland, up on a plateau at about 400 metres, surrounded by mountains. <laughs> I mean, we're just me in a tent. What make you think, doesn't it? Why the why why do we do it? 
and then I just sit here, I turn the camera off, I'm sat there drinking my rum, looking up at the sky, and I'm saying to myself, I fucking love this. I absolutely fucking love it. And that's why we do it. That's why I do it anyway. I wish I could show you what I was seeing. See, I don't think you can see any of it. We've got mountains all around us. Bright, bright moon tonight. That wind comes and goes. I'm just hoping the snow stays off so the trail's a bit easier to find on way home. But, right, I'm gonna stop talking bollocks. Burger, smoky streaky bacon, Montre Jack, Red Leicester cheese, and um, a bit of sauce. If I can do it here in the middle of nowhere, you guys can do it too. Let's pack the boiling bag food in. Let's hey, go. Well, it's quite a mild night, really. I was cold before, but just measured temperature. It's only hitting minus between minus one and minus two. Um, it's not even that cold. I've been sat outside, as you've seen, cooking. I'm gonna drink. Uh, yeah, it's been all right, but you know me, once I've eaten and I've had a few beers, that's time for me to call it a night. So, uh, good night. <laughs> yeah, that's it. Look guys, I'll catch you in the morning. Been a quality camp. Sorry it's probably not come across like that, but look. It's solo winter camping. There's not too much to show you once them lights go off. It's dark, I'm sat on my own, and I'm just chilling, enjoying being where I am. I can't really make that come across on camera. But all in all, been a quality camp. Time for me to get my head down. I'll see you guys in the morning. Over now. Not a bad night. The uh, the wind was gusting every now and again, but um, I could hear the snow coming down. So I'm a bit dreading to have a look outside, but let's have a quick look, eh? Well, no, not too bad, so. I'm gonna, I've got most of my stuff packed away. Um, I'm gonna get my boots on and get outside and I'll bring you back. It's cold. It's cold. It's about eight o'clock. So I'm gonna get the shelter down. I'm gonna get off. Um, six hour drive home. So yeah, I don't know how long it's gonna take me to get down. Um, hopefully not much longer than an hour. Just have a look at that for a location. Oh, 
absolutely stunning. I would say coming summer, but the midges, I've just seen videos after videos of people being held captive in the tent from him. So I don't know. I'd definitely come up here though and um, have a camp at some time. Oh. So it's not, it's not been too great a video for you guys. Again, it's hard to make a decent video when you're out solo in winter, but I hope you've enjoyed it. Bit of cracking location, cracking camp from my point of view. Got some nice burgers on go, a couple of rums. You know how it goes. So oh, we'll get the shelter down and then I'll bring you back for the sign off. Right, that's me done, packed up, ready for home. Um, be good. I'm leaving actually. You know, realistically, probably never going to be back here again, am I? But as always, leave no trace. Just a patch in the snow where my tent was. Mr. Robin, I think that was the same one as yesterday coming up. Hello, mate. <laughs> right, that's me done. Um, if you've made it this far, nice one. If you've enjoyed it, hit the like button and why not hit that subscribe button if you don't already. Other than that, that's Alan Team 54, Glencoe, Lost Valley, Wild Camp done, out of here. Goodbye.